Today I wanted to give you a few more creative ideas for your flower photography. And as always, I'll be using a very simple setup. You know, I'm just using this little card here to kind of reduce some of the wind uh, on this little flower. Or, you know, in my last video I used a coat hanger to try to hold the, uh, the flower steady. But it's not too bad today. But a lot of times when you have to use a card, you're blocking any kind of natural sunlight that's coming in. Uh, and now your flower is in the shade. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to kind of bring that beautiful uh, sort of uh, golden hour lighting back in. And uh, for the gear today, I'll be using, as usual, my Olympus EM10 Mark II. Uh, and I have my 14 to 42 kit lens today with the uh, 16 millimeter extension tube. So that'll get me nice and close to the flower. Now the only thing new I'm bringing to the table today is this uh, RGB LED video light. And uh, you know I'll talk about this light in more detail later but basically the difference between a regular LED light and an RGB light is you can change the colors of the LEDs to give you different color light. And this one in particular, this is a bowling something, I can't remember. But I can control both by color temperature, uh, similar, you know, like white balance, or I can control this directly uh, on a color scale in terms of degrees. And they give you a nice little chart here on the back, but I'll show you the settings as we're going along. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to do a factory reset like so, so that we're all on the same page. And uh, from here, I'll just go ahead and take an ambient shot. So let me set my uh, focus point. Let me check my super control panel first. Uh, I always like to go into anti-shock. And I normally just use the JPEGs out of camera, but I'm, I always like to add raw as well. And just... Uh, best practice is to turn ibis off when you're on a tripod and for flowers i like to do vivid and then crank the sharpening up the contrast up and then also my gradation i like to use low key and i'm going to turn off face detect for the autofocus and then i generally i like to just do center weighted uh, metering as well and i think that's everything there so let's just take a picture here and see if I can focus on that bug a little better. Now the other thing I like to do is um, I like to uh, increase the aperture. So I'm in aperture priority so I get a little bit wider depth of field because when you're this close sometimes it's too narrow and you know half the flower is blurry. So I'm going to crank the aperture up to f16. And the shutter speed is at 1 one hundredth of a second, which is not bad. I usually like to be a little faster, but since the flower is really not moving very much, I'm going to get a shot here. So let's uh, wait for it to stop moving. And let's take a look at that. And that's not a bad shot. I mean, the flower is exposed pretty well, but the bug's a little bit dark. And that, that's a nice ambient shot. But let's see what we can do when we add this light. So let me turn this on. And I know, I know a lot of times people don't like to use flash because not, you're not comfortable with it yet. And that's okay. I'll do some more tutorials on uh, off-camera flash. But today we're just going to use a simple light that we can control. Uh, so I'm going to put this into white balance mode and you'll be able to see here I can change the white balance of the flash between 2500 and 8500 but I'm gonna go all the way down to 2500 because that's a nice warm light I'm not sure if you can see that here but let's add this into the into the mix here now you can see how nice and warm that light is and I'm going to bring it down nice and low so that I get some nice, like, uh, evening, golden hour shade. And let's wait for the wind to stop again. 
Well, let's let's take a shot there. And yeah, I think that looks a lot nicer than the ambient shot. Okay, another thing we can do with this, since we can control the color on this, is I can go into a color mode. So let me show you that. So I can just switch over like this. And right now it's at zero, the H is at zero. And S stands for saturation, and the 100 just means the illumination, so I have it at maximum brightness. So it's zero degrees, and, and there's a little scale here. Zero degrees is down here in the reds, and then all the way up to 360 kind of makes it a, a red again, and then everything in between. So there's a little guide here, but, you know, if I wanted to do something funky, you know, I can do something like this with a red light. And honestly, I, that doesn't work for me. Um, but what I can do is I can change the white balance of the camera to match this red. And what that's going to do is going to make everything in the image opposite of red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the white balance on the EM10. So I'll go into the super control panel. And click here. And let's go to custom white balance 1 and click the info button. Now it's asking me to put a white piece of paper, but instead of a white piece of paper, I'm going to put this red LED light in, like so. And it's saying the white balance levels are extreme, and that's okay. We'll click yes. And now you can see the image is very, very blue. But when I add the red light back in, you'll see that the flowers start to come back to their natural color. So let's get a shot. Let me see if I can get a nice side lighting. Let's change this to a different color. Uh, let's go to... Let's go up to 120 which on the scale here is green. And let's change our white balance to green. So we'll go in here, we'll click OK. I'll click the info button. And then we're going to put this light, because now this light is green. It may be hard to tell on the, the video, but let's put that onto green. And take a shot there, say yes. And now you can see the background is very red, right? So, let's bring our green light back into the picture. And as you can see, the colors are coming back to their natural white and yellow. And let's get a shot right there. And now I have the flowers uh, with a red background. All right, let's try uh, this uh, dandelion over here. All right, so I've taken off the extension too because I don't really need it for this size flower. But let's go ahead and try our light again and see if we can get a nice red background behind this dandelion. I'm going to turn this back down to zero. There we go. And go into the custom white balance. And I can set custom white balance number two. Let's click the info button. Say yes. And let's try this with a blue background. Very nice. And then let's switch back to Kelvin. Get the nice warm white balance. We'll put this back into auto. 
and we'll add this in. Oh, we'll do an ambient shot. And then let's look at the, let me dial in a little negative exposure comp. There we go. Yeah. In my next video, I'm gonna do some light painting with this video light, and I think that'll be a lot of fun.